Welcome back to another episode of Inside the Mind, where we break down the guitar sounds on our latest album, Electric Mind. Today's episode is about release, so let's get into it. Release was one of the songs that I brought to the table. And I actually wrote the song during our time living down in Nashville, Tennessee, when we were just a three-piece. It was one of those songs that I thought was finished, but uh, it wasn't until we moved back here to Michigan and expanded to our current lineup that the song really kind of found its home and turned into what you hear on Electric Mind. Now the beginning of release, or foreplay as it is on the record, starts with my Gibson Les Paul studio plugged into a 1973 Marshall JMP 50 watt head. Amazing plexi tone. And we have the volume knob on the bridge pickup turned almost completely off. I'm talking like just a hair. And it goes through that little beginning part before I turn it on full blast and go into the chorus riff or the intro proper. And that will actually be the same tone that you hear throughout the rest of the song during the choruses, kind of that lead motif. of release since Sean is playing pretty much the rhythm part all the way through <laughs> kind of a call and response between the uh, low kind of chugging and the uh, righteous power chords on top. So I decided to split that between two of my guitars, uh, one being my Dan Electro baritone going through a JCM 800 right on the edge of breakup. It's kind of following the kick pedal and the bass pattern throughout the verses. And then the response would be my Les Paul Studio going through a JCM 800 and that's gonna follow on the twos and the fours, just this righteous power chord. And for the dueling solo, near the, about the midway point of the song, Sean and I really wanted to have very distinct tones between the two of us. So I had my Les Paul studio going through a Rocktron Black Cat Moan wah pedal going into the front of the JCM 800. Had it kind of cocked in the sweet spot for maximum tone, really kind of dialing in that cue for those of you gear nuts out there. And yeah, just really wanted to have a very unique tone to kind of separate myself from, from Sean Solo. Uh, now, I don't have access to the Black Hat Moan wah pedal, but I will be using my Jim Dunlop 535Q Crybaby Wah, one of my absolute favorite pedals on my board. I think it was the first pedal I ever got, and it's still my favorite. Ah! 
nice addition to release would be the outro of the song, that really long extended harmonica solo. Uh, kind of lower in the mix, I've got some acoustic guitars going. Used our go-to 1970 Yamaha FG300. And it was kind of just like a different take on the normal verse riff, if you will. Kind of split it into two different harmonies and it's playing along with James on the piano just to add a nice little backdrop for that psychedelic harp solo. So there you have it. That's how we got the guitar sounds on release. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on social media. Check out our new single, Dark Mountain. And stay tuned for more information and more content releases from Overdrive Orchestra. See you later.